Welcome to Gardening Through the Seasons. I'm Gary Bachman, horticulture specialist with Mississippi State University Extension Service, and I'm based at the Coastal Research and Extension Center in Biloxi. This morning, we're in a gorgeous garden here in Starkville, Mississippi. We grow perennials in our garden because they do come back every year. One of the misconceptions that we have about perennials is once we plant them, we don't have to do any other maintenance to them. They just come back every year. Most of our perennials will benefit from a little bit of care called division. Um, division is where we go and physically divide the plant. It helps relieve overcrowding of the root system. It helps rejuvenate centers of plants that will tend to die out. And it also regenerates some of the um, growing points and growing stems for future growth. In order to divide perennials from your garden, you don't have to have any specialized tools. I personally recommend having a garden fork, such as, such as this, to help lift plants out of the garden, out of the yard. A, a little short spade also is good for digging plants out. And as, and as far as working with the plants themselves, um, I know everybody's got a spare bread knife or an, old, or an old knife around the house. Great for cutting plants apart. And then also, you can find tools that are really not your typical garden tool. This is one of my favorite tools for working with perennials in the garden. And this is a World War II um, aircraft crash axe that, that, that is very useful in the garden. Now what I would like to do right now is to show you how easy it is to divide plants and that you don't have to be afraid to cut plants apart. And I've got um, two examples here. Um, let's start off with liriope or monkey grass. And instead of uh, digging up any of the beautiful plants here in the garden, I've got containerized plants which, which, can, which we can use to demonstrate. We go ahead and remove it from the pot and as you can see I've already got the the media um, removed from the root system. And what I want to point out here with this liriope, notice all the different growing points on it. Those are areas where we can take this plant and cut it apart and make new plants. And it's, and it's really as simple as taking, I'm going to use the bread knife in, in this case, and take this and, and, fi and find one of these offshoots and Cut and cut through it. And we, we, en we end up with, with, a, with a piece like this with some root system on it, and that's ready to go into, into the garden. We can then go ahead and take, let's just go ahead and, and keep right on going here, each, each one of these growing points. And again, we, no, another plant that we can put into the garden. And let's go ahead and, and cut this one more time. And we, and, we, and we end up with, with, two, with two more plants. So where we started with one plant, we now have four plants that are ready to go into the garden. Now I'd like to show how easy it is to divide a hosta. Again, we're going to use a containerized plant. Um, I've already cleaned the, the soil off of the root system. So we can inspect this and see where, the, where we're going to cut where the different growing points are. And we can see on this one, Here's one that we can separate, and I'm going to take the bread knife and do the exact same as, as we did before. So we have, a, we have a plant, we have root system, this is ready to go into the garden. And now the, for the second cut, we can get um, three plants out of this. So we gently go through here and we find where the natural division is, and we're going to make a cut along that line. And so we have, we, have two, we have two more plants, and so we, we've, we've, we've ended up with three plants for the garden from that, from that one plant that was in the container. I hope you've been able to see how easy it is to make um, divisions from your perennial plants. Um, one thing I thought I would like to leave you with is after you've divided plants, 
save one or two of your new plants and give to your neighbors. It'll always um, be a way to make new friends and you can always visit your plants in the future. I'm Gary Bachman. Thanks for joining me gardening through the seasons.